Hi everyone, Jack from Maths Forge, and in today's lesson we're going to be doing the laws of indices for positive powers. So let's take a look at our first example. Here we're being asked to multiply 8 to the power of 5 by 8 to the power of 4. And if you remember from our lesson on powers, that a number, the base number here, which is 8 to the power of 5, this power here, 5, essentially just means you are multiplying 8 by itself 5 times. And now we are going to multiply this to 8 to the power of 4. So we're multiplying 8 by itself 4 times. And if you think about it, there's an easier way to write all of this. This is just 8 multiplying by itself 9 times. There are 9 8 here being multiplied together. And so the quickest way to write this is just 8 to the power of 9. Now, if we take a look at the question and the answer, there is a relationship that exists between the powers. You can see here that 5 plus 4 make 9. And so we establish our first law of indices. If you are multiplying two base numbers that are the same, so here I have a multiplied by a, and they have different powers or the same powers, you end up with the same base in your answer, but with the powers added together. And so, of course, 8 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 4, the bases are the same, and this only works if the bases are the same. So if your bottom numbers are the same value, so here we have 8 and 8, then we simply add their powers if we are multiplying the bases together. So 5 plus 4 is 9. And if we check our answer, there it is. We'll do another one-star example with the law this time. So we can see here that we're multiplying the same base value. So our answer should be the same base value. And since we're multiplying the bases together, we add the powers. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So 5 to the power of 7 should be our final answer. And if we check it, there it is. Also note that you are being asked to simplify, not to calculate the values. So simplification means writing down the numbers present or the expression with fewer operations involved. Now let's do a two-star example. Here we're being asked to divide 12 to the power of 7 by 12 to the power of 3. So here I have 12 multiplied by itself 7 times. And this is being divided by 12 multiplied by itself 3 times. And from the lesson on cancelling, you can see that we can cancel the last 12s, the second to last 12s, and the third to last 12. And at the bottom, we will be left with 1. So our final simplified answer is actually just going to be 4 12s multiplied together. And that can be simplified by writing 12 to the power of 4. And if we check our answer, there it is. But now we can establish the second law of indices, which is if you divide the same base value, so a divided by a, you subtract their powers. Of course, 7 minus 3 is indeed 4. And so if you're dividing the same base values together, you subtract their powers. You do the power of the numerator, subtract the power of the denominator. And this is the second law of indices. Now let's do a three-star example. Here we're being asked to simplify 5 to the power of 3 in brackets, raised to the power of 3 again. So if you think about what's happening here, this is 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by itself three times. So it's going to be 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3. And from the one star examples from our first law of indices, if you remember, if you are multiplying the same bases together, you simply add their powers. And in this case, all of our base numbers are the same. So this is just a simple matter of adding their powers. We have 5 as a base for our answer, and it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9. Now we can establish our third law of indices. You can see that this 9 here was obtained by multiplying the power on the inside of the bracket to the power on the outside of the bracket. So we can deduce that if you have a base to a power that's being raised to another power outside of the brackets, you can simply write down your answer as the same base, but with your two powers multiplied together. And if we check our answer, there it is. We'll do one more three-star example. So we have 6 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3. So from our third law of indice, since we have a base raised to a power that's being raised to another power outside of the brackets, 
we can simply multiply the powers together to get the final answer. So this is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. So 6 to the power of 9 should be our final answer. And if we check our answer, there it is. And that's it for the law of indices of positive powers.